Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Red. This is now the third time I'm trying to create this video. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to try to stay calm until I get back to what I was getting into. Now, I know because I've tried this twice already, I'm going to get emotional about what i got to talk about. So before I forget, I'm going to say that at the end of this video, Please link to it, share it, copy it, and paste it for our publish it to your own YouTube channel. Just get it out there. <clears throat> um, and I also want to say that I did do a questionnaire recently asking everybody what they wanted me to do a video on. I got quite a few responses back, and I appreciate that. Um, I will cover all the topics that everybody told me they would like to see me speak about. But... I feel I gotta say this first. Um, now, I recently watched a video uh, today. It was called Obama Signs NDAA Bill Marshall Law. Look it up. In that video, alright, if, if that video doesn't make you emotional, it make you cry a little bit. You're not an American. You can understand that now right off the bat. Um, but it goes into the seriousness of the nature. Okay. Under the Patriot Act, a 16 year old kid was detained from his home, sleeping, via the doors being bashed in on him, tonight, 3 o'clock in the morning. His mother cannot speak with him, has no communication with him, has not been able to get him out. Why? Because this child, the 16 year old, has never been trouble with the law before, and is absolutely proud to be an American. I mean, his room is just full of American flags. According to the government, is a suspected terrorist. The National Guard soldier that refused. <clears throat> And refuses to open fire on, to disarm, and to detain his fellow American citizens has been detained. Um, and that is all under the authority of the Patriot Act. Now, that the NDAA bill has now become law. That pretty much applies to anybody and everybody, no matter who you are. If you're a homeschooler, or a gun owner, a member of the NRA, a tea party, an occupier, an oath keeper, um, a Christian. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? As of the signing of the NDAA, you are now a suspected terrorist. This isn't a game anymore, folks. And in that video, Obama signed NDAA Marshall Law. You will see a clip of how Obama sworn, uh, sworn into office to know can uphold and defend the United States Constitution. Then more recently, he says that he feels the United States Constitution is an imperfect document. Our form of government never worked. And he signs the NDAA bill into law, which now gives him full authority. And don't believe anything anybody who's a sympathizer for the NDAA tells you. <coughs> There's numerous websites out there that have the NDAA bill open and, able, and where you are able to read it. Before you are taken down, before the government takes it off their own websites, read it. Print it out. Read it. <coughs> it specifies real clear different groupings of people that are being looked at as the enemy, that are being looked at as suspected terrorists. It tells you what happens to those suspected terrorists. You'll be detained indefinitely without 
you know, uh, due process of law, no, no habeas corpus, no, no, none of that stuff. And that's, that's it, you're done. Even if you're innocent, you're done. And you can do nothing wrong. And what are you doing? You're waking up in the morning, hopping in the shower, having some breakfast, hopping in your car, driving down the road to go to work. You get off work, you drive back home again. Sit down with your family, have some dinner, watch some TV, maybe you like me, who's got no TV, you can see the radio. Okay. And then you go to bed. Well, guess what? According to the NDAA bill, that is now law, something you're doing during that process makes you a suspected terrorist in the eyes of the government. You are the enemy of the United States government. Now, when I calm myself down a little bit from watching that movie, that is the video, uh, you know, watching that, I, I had, in that short 10 minutes of the, watching that video, I went on a whole emotional roller coaster ride. I was feeling hurt, disgusted, angry, upset, and I did cry. About five, five minutes or so in, I, I cried. You know, I, I literally just watched my freedoms strip. I mean, you have to realize, you have to understand that we have, well, they have no much freedom left that the Constitution gave us. They have no much freedom left. Now, I'm going to hope and pray and that's just enough freedom to breathe life back into this Constitution and return America to the greatness she once was. Now, there's no easy way of saying this, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it, and I'm going to hope that nothing else is going to go wrong, and I can finish out this video and publish it, so I don't know why it keeps on stopping on me for it. Uh, Alright, I've been preaching <clears throat> for a long time what's going to come. Everybody who's been reading my articles, uh, listening to my podcast and watching my videos knows that every prediction I've ever made, particularly over the past three years, I've been using the Bible and, and current events to derive. Not one of my predictions were wrong. Not one. And watching that video and uh, seeing what just took place and, and you know, getting confirmation that, 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 that this bill is now law, I kind of watched everything that I was saying proved to be correct. And this is the one thing I want to be wrong about. I mean, man, granted, yes, there are a few others out there that are preaching along the same lines that I am and have been trying to tell everybody the same thing I am. Um, some of them a lot longer than I have been. But we've, we've all been getting brushed off tonight. We're completely crazy. We're insane. We're nutcases. We belong in the nut house. That's what you keep on telling us. Well, folks, this is it. And apparently, there are still some of you out there that don't understand the severity and the reality of the situation. So you see, when I went on to Facebook, when I calmed myself down a little bit after watching the video, I was still a little aggravated about what I've just seen. And... You know, I posted the, I posted the video to my to my page, and I noticed a few others who had already posted to their pages, and uh, there was a conversation going on on one of my friends who had to post it to their page, and uh, people are saying different things that they feel need to be done effectively immediately to try to correct this matter, 
and somebody m responds saying, well, if you do that, you're going to be detained as a terrorist. And that's kind of showing right there that people don't understand the severity of this. And I want to take everybody back in time a little bit, all right? And if I can, I'll get my grandfather to, to, to back me up on this, because he was in Germany, and uh, you know, he, he's from Germany, and he came to America to fight on, on the side of America in World War II. Um, he hasn't talked about it all that much, so I'm going to try to get him to talk about it for all, for all of you. But there are three things that Hitler did that America is now doing. Homeland Security. Um, the NDAA bill. Hitler called it the Enabler Act. And then there was the... the false flag terrorist attack, where he blew up his own parliamentary building and blamed it on communist terrorists. And as soon as that was done, that was it. You know, now Nazi Germany is official. The German constitution has officially been shredded and burned to ash. He is now dictator of Germany. He effectively reconstructed Germany in his own image. For the certain amount of time it lasted, but we all know the amount of destruction and havoc he wreaked in that short amount of time. Now, what do we have? We have Homeland Security. We have the NDAA bill, which is Hitler's Enabler Act. The only thing we're missing is the false flag terrorist attack. So keep your eyes open for that. If we get another rather large scale terrorist attack, before you believe print a terrorist attack, think about Nazi Germany and Hitler's rise to power. Think about the exact wording of the NDAA bill. That NDAA bill makes every American citizen the enemy. It makes the American soil the battlefield. So I more or less, I don't know if I'm going to get this word for word or not of what I said in return. Well, you can go on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Reverend Dr. Red, and you can see it for yourself. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to get it really close to what I said, but I don't think I'm going to get it word for word. But I think basically what I said to this individual was the fact that to sit there and do nothing is akin to bringing in the tyranny yourself. To sit there and do nothing is the same thing as allowing tyranny. And I for one will not accept and do not accept tyranny. My family helped build this nation. I come from a family of war veterans. My whole family is made up of made up of war veterans, and police officers, nurses, doctors. You know, and I will not allow anybody to take America away for my family and my future generations. The time for silence is over. Do you understand? The time to be silent is over. This is it. If you are going to sit there and be quiet, 
if you are going to remain conceited behind your video games or your TV screen, you are allowing tyranny to take place in this country. It is the American citizen's job to defend and uphold the United States Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And right now we have a real big enemy that we have to take care of. This is not a time to be silent. For all of you who feel that by speaking up and speaking out is going to get you thrown in jail, I have a news flash for you. For all of you who feel that way, you're going to wind up in prison. You're going to wind up in a concentration camp anyway. If they feel they have no use for you, that is where you are going to go. No matter what. You might as well go down a patriot. You might as well go down righteously. And I, for one, am going to take this, what just happened, and just speak louder. Because apparently I didn't speak loud enough, often enough, for you people. And apparently to everybody else out there that's preaching this to you people and that predicted what was going to happen wasn't speaking loud enough, often enough for you people. Not enough petitions took place. Not enough correct voting took place. Instead, what happened? We're going to whine and we're going to moan and groan about the politicians in office about all the congressmen. And then what happens? They go for re-election, and you people who are set on wine and more than one how horrible they are, vote them back in office for another term. <laughs> well, now the time has come that you need heed your own advice. Get these people out of office. We need new blood. We need people who have never been in Washington before to go to Washington. We don't need any more dirty politicians. We don't need any more career politicians. This is it. And I, for one, as I said on Facebook, to, to, I don't remember what group it was, I'm going to say it to you people too. I can guarantee you this one fact, but I can't guarantee you anything else, I can guarantee you this. You all are going to sit there Brushing me off and everybody else is preaching along similar lines off as we are all crazy. You're not going to believe a thing we're saying. And there's going to be millions of others of you out there who never even heard of me. You're not going to hear me or of any other people until you're in your shackles and chains in your concentration camps. And you're going to be telling stories about me and about these other people. Those of you who were, who were around long enough in the free world to remember it will be telling the stories because you've seen it. Some of you have seen my videos, heard my podcast, read my articles. Others of you from bigger into Alex Jones. Others into Jesse Ventura. And the list goes on. 
and then mothers of the others that be telling the stories from the stories from, from that heard the stories from you. Now I'm gonna be wondering, well, did we ever exist? Did we ever exist? Were we real people? And the reason why they're gonna be questioning this and be telling these stories is because more of us would have had died righteous deaths. Speaking up and speaking out. Trying to take what little freedom is left and breathe life back into the Constitution and regain the freedoms that are being lost and piece back together the Constitution that was shredded before it becomes ash in the furnace. And because you sat there behind your computer screens playing your video games or sat on the couch behind the TV screens and did absolutely nothing and didn't pay attention and didn't heed the advice, you allowed yourself to wander these concentration camps. And you're going to be sitting there thinking about whether it was me, Alex Jones, Jesse Ventura, George Norrie, or anybody else out there who's been preaching about this and you're going to be remembering our stories remembering what we've been telling you and then be passing those stories on questioning yourself well what if I did as they said to do and turned off my video games turned off my TV screen and hit the streets brought awareness to the rest of the sheeple and got these career politicians out of office what would America have been like then? Would I still be sitting in this concentration camp? Or would the United States Constitution still be a, a living document guaranteeing the American citizens' freedoms? That's right, folks. This country has been going down the drain for decades. For decades. We have been getting demoralized as a nation. We have been getting desensitized as a nation. And it has gotten through the line where enough has got to be enough. You have got to stand up and say enough is enough. This nation has been demoralized and desensitized enough. We will allow this no longer. There's another video I want you to look up on YouTube. You know, it's a video by, um, it's a recording of Dr. Manning. The name of the video is called Black Hate Obama 2. Just look it up. Watch it. And what he says in that video cannot be more correct. He was going on talking about, you know, the Black Panthers and you know, everybody thought that, 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 back then people thought that was a big deal. And he laughs and he says that people haven't seen anything yet. Because us white folk uh, are being pushed around. And us white folk ain't going to take it no more. There's going to be a time where we're going to be pushed too far and we're going to rise up. And we're going to take our nation back. And he keeps on saying in that video that he wants to join the white folk. That he, that he prays for the success of the white folk. Watch that video. Watch it. See what he's got to say about what's going on right now. My message to all of you fellow Americans is this. Everything I've said for the past 24 minutes and 43 seconds needs to sink into your brains. You need to understand that all of us are being considered the enemy at any given moment of any given day. 
any one of us can be taken out like that. There, you're going to be utilized to swap teams, the military, multi-million dollar drones that are supposed to be used for war, but are not going to be used on us. We are the enemy. They are viewing us as the enemy. You need to realize this. This is, this is not a game. This is reality, folks. This is reality. This is what it is. Read the NDAA bill. There's numerous government sites that have it up for, for display. You print it out and read it before you take it down. This is real. This is happening. There's been numerous of us that have been saying this to you for years now. I've been preaching for the past three years now. I got my new ordination a year ago, which all that means, it really is that I can legally do weddings, baptisms, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. And, and I got my, my uh, doctorate in divinity from about a year ago now, too. Which all that means is that between that and my ordination is I have the legal right to open up a ministry, which I did. I'm a 100% legal minister. So in that respect, through the ministry, I've been preaching for almost a year. But in all actuality, I've been preaching this for over three years. Well, three years on a large scale, because I haven't been doing it to my family and friends, preaching to my family and friends since my studies began. And I started reaching out on a larger scale for over three years now. The past year through my ministry. His words gotta get out. You have been lied to. All of us have been lied to. In your church, in over 97% of the Christian churches here in America, you are, if you are lucky, you are only hearing 50% of the truth. More than the majority of these churches have signed on to this program with the government. Where in times of distress, it is the minister's job to keep you as calm as can be and to get you to understand you must obey the military. What they say is right. Even if it's wrong, it's right. They are not doing their job. It is the minister's job. It is, it is, it is a, uh, a minister. Regardless of the faith is, it is a minister's job, the, your spiritual leader's job, to protect you. Above all else, it is to protect you. And what are they doing? They are handing you over for slaughter. They are not preaching to you the entire gospel. They just aren't. Are they reading all the verses out of the Bible? Maybe. Maybe. But are they telling you what it really means? No. You're only getting 50% of the message of the gospel if you're lucky. If you're lucky. There's only 3% of the churches here in America that are preaching the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It is those 3% that you need to look for. Because it is those 3% that are when Everything goes down the way it's being planned to go down. It is they who will protect you. You can't trust anybody but yourselves at this point. We are all being, being viewed as the enemy in the eyes of the government. Which means we cannot trust nobody but ourselves from this day forward. We can't trust anybody but ourselves. I mean, it's getting to the point, ladies and gentlemen, where you can't even trust your own family because they will sign you over to the government. You know that whole, that's nothing that that Hitler did. You know that whole uh, DHS campaign, see something, say something? Doesn't that sound a little uh, similar to you with the whole Nazi Gestapo? 
can now they can literally using people or people people in not Germany can literally turning in their own families, their own parents, their brothers, their sisters, their children, just to get themselves alive. Tomorrow we are seeing that day here in America, folks. It's here. This isn't the future no more. This isn't something you can just laugh off anymore. It's here. It's now. Wake up. The day has come. Now, can you all have two options? Those two options are do as I am doing, realize the severity of the situation and the reality of the situation, and speak up and speak out louder than ever before. If you haven't spoken out yet, then stop speaking out. Stop speaking up. And if you wind up in a prison camp, well, at least you'll be there knowing you did what you know you had to do. You did your best to get our freedoms back. You did your best to save America. You did your best to replace these career politicians with people who belong there, the true Americans. Or, you can choose to continue sitting back, brushing us all off like we're a bunch of crazies, continue playing your video games, continue watching your TV screen, and continue to be, to be completely ignorant to what's going on. And wake up one day in a prison camp and question yourself, well, how did this happen? How did I get here? What happened? Maybe I should have listened to Reverend Dr. Red. Maybe I should have listened to Alex Jones. Maybe I should have listened to, to George Norris. Maybe I should have listened to Jesse Ventura. Maybe I should have listened to Glenn Beck. And the list goes on. Is that what you want to do? So then choose option one. You don't want to believe it? You don't want to believe this could be happening because this is America? This can't happen. It's America. And that's what you're going to experience. And if you people allow this, this agenda to keep on furthering, plant in its plans, if you allow, allow this agenda to take place as it is planned to happen, then America has truly become the home. Let me get, that, let me get the, phrase, the phrase straight. And then, then this country has truly become the land of the coward. No. I'm sorry, see, I'm getting all upset, and I can't think straight. If you will continue to sit there and do nothing, because, you know, this is America, we can't believe this, this is America, then America has truly become the land of the slaves and the home of the cowards. And is that what we've what we become? Did we, be, did we become the land of the slaves and home of the cowards? You want to say no? Then prove me wrong! We need to get these career politicians out of office. We need to get somebody in the POTUS that understands American values and that will uphold and defend the United States Constitution. Not just say they vote again to office and then turn around and say that they built an imperfect document. And tell us that the American way of life, the American government, has never worked. If you ask me if the American government never worked, if the United States Constitution is an imperfect document, then can you please explain to me why over 200 years we were a superpower? Nobody messed with us. Everybody feared us. We were the military muscle. 
everybody knew you mess with America, you're going to get your stuff handed back to you. Tell me, how is that an imperfect government? How is that an imperfect constitution? How? How? Tell me how that how, tell me how that wasn't working. I'll tell you what's not working. What's not working is the fact that he's what's not working means that he's he's slowing down um the fact that he is I, I, I can't feel I'm getting I'm getting myself all upset. What's not working is the fact that he is destroying our military. He is downsizing the military. He is shredding the United States Constitution. He's allowing terrorists, street gangs, criminals, homosexuals and transgenders openly in the military, which now makes the rest of the world laugh at us. We have now become the laughing stock of the entire world. What we need in this nation right now, more than ever, is God. We need to not worry about the language that anybody wants to use, and oh my God, you know, this might happen to us, that might happen to us, we, we, we might get locked up, oh my God, we can't open our mouths. If you have that attitude, you're not an American, I'm telling you right now. If you don't want to stand up and speak out, you are no longer considered my countryman. What we need, Right now, it's for more people to stand up, preach the gospel, and bring the Lord back to God. If your church ain't preaching the truth, kick your pastor out of the church and replace him with someone who will preach the truth. It ain't his church, it's not your pastor's church, it's supposed to be God's church. Jesus Christ is the head of that church. If your pastor ain't preaching you the truth, kick him out or pray for somebody who will. And stand up for your rights. Every last one of them. Get this career po Stop whining and mourning and groaning that you want these career politicians out of the office, that they're doing this, that, and other thing to you, and then vote them back in again stupidly. If you're going to recognize if you're going to recognize that they are doing you wrong, don't book them back in. Book somebody else in. And please do me a favor. If you do nothing else for me, please do me this one favor. In 2012, do not, do not, do not, do not vote back in Obama. Don't. In three, it took him three years to destroy this nation, and he saw the whole other year left. Do we really want to see another four years of this? Do we really want to know where another, where another four years of Obama is going to take us? Please, don't vote Obama back in. If you can do nothing else to me, do me that favor and don't vote for Obama again. If we don't stand up and speak out and speak louder now than ever, America is dead. You are allowing America's death. 
you are allowing the shredded, the old shreds of the United States Constitution to be picked up into a big pile and thrown into the furnace and burnt to ash. Is that what you really want? I'm sorry, but our founding fathers, more than 200 years ago, did not, did not, did not, did not, did not put their demise on the line and die and write this document to try to protect us against tyranny for us to just give it away. Like it's nothing. We were given the responsibility to govern the government. We were given the responsibility to uphold and defend the United States Constitution. So it's about time. If you want to call yourself my countryman, if you want to call yourself an American, you do your job. <coughs> so let's stand up and let's speak out. In Congress and the White House both are breaking the law on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's start holding them accountable for the laws they are breaking. This country is forever giving up God for what the internet is giving numerous names. I think the name I like the best is the new religion of secular liberalism. So get out there and preach the gospel. Forward my videos onto your friends, onto your family. My ministry isn't just a local ministry, it's a global ministry, thanks to the internet. So pass them on my videos. Pass them on the videos of, of, of Dr. Manning. Anybody. Let's get them inside of, uh, in front of a pastor who's preaching the truth. Get out there and preach the gospel. Get out there and preach the truth. Get out there and defend your, your rights. Get out there and defend your freedoms. Get out there and defend your constitution. Hold the Congress and hold the White House accountable for each and every crime they've committed. Every single president and every single congressman that is still alive today that has ever broken a law, stop holding them accountable for those, for those crimes they've committed. It is about time the American people rise up and show these people, show these politicians that this ain't their land, this ain't their country, this ain't their government, it's ours. This land belongs to the American people. The government is, is by the people, for the people. It's about time they get a reminder. So let's start sifting through Congress and sifting through the White House and every single president that's still alive and every single congressman, man or woman that is still alive today, serving or not, that has ever committed a crime. Let's start holding them accountable for those crimes. Let's, uh, let's rise up and tell these people that we will not take this anymore. We will not be kicked around, pushed around, shoved around. Let's, let's show these people that we have taken our country back. We're going to replace them with true Americans. And we're going to pick up the Constitution off the ground and piece it back together. Let's show them and that, yeah, they tried hard to kill the American spirit. They tried hard to strip us of our freedoms. They tried hard to kick God out of this country. Let's show them that, yeah, they tried hard, but they did, but they failed. Let's show them that God is still here. That we are still a God fearing and a God-loving country. And let's show them that we are still, and we would, 
we will forever be a free country. And we will forever have a country uh, with a government that is for the people, by the people. Let's not allow them to strip us of that. Let's show them that as hard as they might try to destroy the American spirit. And as much as they try to kick God out of this country, they can't. The American spirit will never die. And God is not somebody you want to kick around. Let's remind them of that fact. Let's bring God back to America. Or rather, I should say, let's bring America back to God. Let's rebuild our Constitution. Let's, let's show them that the American spirit is still alive. Just as strong as it was back in 1776. And let's, let's show these politicians that we are not going to be pushed around no more. We'll be pushed around no more. We are a free people. We were born a free people. And we will die a free people. And no matter what they do, we have certain unalienable rights given to us by God. And they cannot strip us of those rights. So let's use those rights and show these people what we're made of. They can't kill the American spirit. They can't move God from this country. They, they're trying. They're trying. They're almost there. But what are they? What, what, are they going to? Are you going to allow them to win? Are you going to allow them to win? We can't allow them to win. Remember our model supposed to be in, in God and country? So let's bring America back to God and let's bring freedom back to the people. I don't know what you want to do. What I gotta say is this if you don't want to spread my video, if you don't want to spread any of my videos, if you don't want to spread the videos of anybody else preaching the truth, if you don't want to believe the truth, if you don't want to believe that this is the reality, if you don't want to believe that one day, if you do nothing, you will wind up in a concentration camp, if you don't want to believe any of this, and you just want to sit down and keep on playing your video games, and stay glued to your TV screen, all I've got to say to you is you are no longer my countryman. You have no clue what it is to be an American. You have no clue what it is to have faith in God. You have no clue. You are no longer my countrymen. To all the rest of you, please, spread this video. Get the word out there. Let's put a stop to this. Let's get this, let's get this treasonous bill repealed. And let's bring America back to the people. You sit there and you do nothing. You will have nobody to blame for what is coming but yourself. You stand up. You speak out. You replace these career politicians with true American spirited people <clears throat> then and only then no matter what happens can you say you fought the good fight and you tried preserving America for future generations to come If you're too scared to say it yourself, repost my videos. Repost videos by Jesse Ventura. Can repost videos by Alex Jones. Repost videos by all of us. And then you don't gotta worry about saying it yourself. All you gotta worry about doing is passing out our videos.
but do something. <clears throat> because if you do nothing, then you're going to have nobody to blame for what's coming your way but yourself. And I still remember, I don't remember it word for word, but I still remember that statement that had something to go, something to the effect of, uh, you know, in the beginning, a patriot is a scarce man, hated and scorned. But when his cause succeeds, and then he's a hero, and everybody joins him. Now, like I said, it ain't the exact words, but you can more or less get the point. <clears throat> Don't worry about what people are going to say to you. The name is going to be called. <clears throat> the truth and your freedoms to be a little more important to you than that. I can call more things, you'd be surprised. Can't stop me yet. I've been threatened. Has it stopped me yet? Nothing is going to stop me. I will die a free man before I so much as think of the idea of living on my knees as a slave. question is, will you? Are you an American? Are you a true American? Are you a true Christian? Can then prove it. Get up and speak up. Let's get the truth out to the people. Let's preach the gospel and let's get these career politicians out of office and behind bars where they belong. Now, I didn't intend this video to go quite this long, but as you can see, I'm a little ticked off and quite emotional about what I have to say. So before this video gets any longer, I'm going to cut it here. I think you pretty much got the point of my message to all of you Americans of what I feel needs to be done. And as far as I'm concerned, you're either with me, or you're against me. You stand up and you speak out and you try to stop this. You're with me. You continue shitting that, playing your video games, more glued to your TV screen. You're no longer considered my countryman. Nope. You have no clue. No clue. If you ain't awake now, you ain't never gonna be awake. So please, let's do, let's do what we can to salvage the rest of our freedoms. Let's salvage the United States Constitution. And let's put the real terrorists behind bars where they belong. Let's put the real criminals behind bars where they belong. And let's get a real American in the seat of Congress. And let's get a real American in POTUS. No more liberal propaganda, please. Let's turn it off now. Just, just, just turn it off. Forget about it. We got a country to save. Politically, spiritually, economically, morally, we have a country to save. If none of y'all want to help me save it, then I try to save it by myself. Makes no difference to me. It makes no difference to me. All I know 
and you got support or not or no support. I will continue doing what I do. <clears throat> At least I know, no matter what happens, I try my best. The question is, can whatever's going to happen, happens? Can you say the same about yourself? Will you be able to say, well, I try my best? Will you be able to say that? I know why I will. I got faith in God. I'm doing what I can to get two Americans in, in office. I'm trying to get the truth out of people. I'm trying to get the word out there as far and wide as I can. I'm doing everything in my power. To bring America back to God and to breathe life back in America, period. Question is, what are you doing? Well, before I continue my rant and the video goes on extensively, I'll cut the video here. Thank you for watching. Please, can get the word out there. Spread the truth. Spread the gospel. Spread the truth. Let's replace these career politicians. Let's get two Americans in office. And just please spread the, spread the word. If we don't stand up now, America is officially dead. I don't want to believe that. So please prove to me that I'm not the only American still in America. Please show me I'm not the, Amer the only American still in America. Help me spread the truth. Help me get these career politicians out of office and replace the true Americans. And help me put the real criminals behind bars where they belong. Prove to me I'm not the only American up in America. God bless.